This will be an unboxing of the Halo 4 Triton Warheads. It's a 7.1 wireless surround sound headset for the Xbox 360, which I believe you can use it with a PlayStation 3, but you won't have the chat functionality because on this one, it connects directly to your controller and to the Xbox, unlike the wireless uh, Turtle Beaches, Call of Duty branded. Uh, you actually have to have this Bluetooth adapter. So on this one, the front, it's 5.8 gigahertz uh, band for the wireless. All that. Here's the side. Here's the back. Give some of the stuff. Adapter included. Wireless chat. 5.8 gigahertz. 50 millimeter drivers. Rechargeable batteries, and that's one thing. I love about it because <coughs> on the Turtle Beaches I have, uh, the batteries run out like crazy quick. So here's the, uh, that's the actual back. On the side, you got Triton logo, Halo 4 logo, front Triton logo, same on this side. And pull this out. Nothing in there. this side nothing in there and I pulled it out and I'm guessing this is the manual it looks like it and pre Halo 4 Unto Dawn prop for Xbox Live and I won't show the code on the back and here's a whole bunch of Paperwork, manuals, warranty guide. And we'll toss it to the side. And here's your two. It's nice they include two battery packs. And that's one of the greatest things they could have done. Because once you get one <sighs> depleted, you can just pull the other one out because it charges in the base station. And then you pop it in and put it in the, the one that's charged and the headset and put the other one inside the base station and it'll charge it up for you so you never have to stop gaming those are the batteries um, as far as the headset goes there's the headset we'll show that in just a second here is your base station Halo 4 line in optical sync DC so I'm guessing there might be actual power you have to plug in to the wall because on the turtle beaches all you have to do is use USB but I'm guessing since this recharges the battery probably have to have a it connected to the wall Let's see if we can get this get this off right here one piece of plastic um, get the other one off It's kind of hard for uh, to get this nice and neat with one hand, so it's probably going to be shaky, as you can tell. In the front, there's your button to toggle. Oh, that's not a button. Is it? No, it's not a button. thought it was. I guess it just tells you which controller you're hooked up to, and then it has a little indicator. If you can see that, a music, a controller, and a movie, and I think that's the different uh, EQs that you have. And you have some indicator lights for double digital, double pro logic, digital, and I believe that top one is stereo. Right down here is your compartment to put your battery pack and charge it. So that's nice. Um, oh, it's held on by magnets it looks like. Those two spots right there, those is metal. Connect with those. So, if I could put it on the right way, yep, it's magnet, that's nice. So you really can't break it, so that's for that. This actually can go on the bottom like that, and then you rest your headset on top. So that's nice. And here is 
the accessories box with a whole bunch of logos on it. Nothing else on the box besides a Triton logo. Let's see what we get in here. Wow. I have never actually gotten anything with the uh, the adapter for like overseas, Europe and stuff like that. So it's a first. Usually anything I get since it's in the US, it is just American. Let's see, let's see. There's another adapter. And here is the wall work. So you actually do have to plug it up. That. Here is your actual microphone. Hopefully it is better than the Turtle Beach headset. Because I have some issues with that. So it's actually a removable mic. Then they give you some pass throughs for audio. So if you aren't using uh, the fiber cable back there, the fiber optic. You can use this and still get sound through your TV when you want it. And there's your fiber optic cable extend. And they throw in really everything you need. So if you have the older the older Xbox, the bigger one, which I had the older Xbox and actually had to buy this adapter. But this actually comes with it. So you can plug it up. Because in the old Xbox this was too this didn't the other one was too big to plug in this and an HDMI cable. So they actually include this so you can use your HDMI and your optical audio, which that's what's on there. And move that out of the way. And let's see how to get this off. scratch the headset. Well, hopefully I can splice this together. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I got these little plastic deals off. So hopefully there's no more. And here is the headset. A little blue accent. Hey, little or logo. I'm really not all into the big glossiness, but uh, it'll do. A full more Triton logo. Can you see that? Halo 4 ear cups on the inside. Is on both? Yes, the 4 is on both. And what is this? That is the power button. If I can get it to focus. Press for power. Um, I'm not sure if that's the EQ button or the sync button. Let's see what else. There's where you plug your mic in. Let's pull this plastic off. SVM, so I don't know what that is for. That might be for chat volume. Here is volume. That's your headset volume, I believe. So that's on your right ear cup. This is on your left ear cup where your chat volume is. That's where your microphone goes in, like I said. And I think that's the sync button. So that's all the buttons I see. Oh, okay. Left ear cup is your chat volume. Right ear cup is your game volume. Also on the right ear cup is your EQ button. Right there. And I'm 
left one is your sync button. So there's not really that much padding in the top. Like there's none. It just feels like a rubber, a piece of rubber. And then maybe a tiny bit of padding, not much. So, and there's actually some plastic pieces in there that feel like they might poke your head in. I was hoping these were a lot um, better than the Delta Modern Warfare 3 Turtle Beaches. The ear cups feel, they feel soft, Looks they feel softer than the uh, Turtle Beaches that I have. So hopefully that'll help. That's kind of one thing I have an issue with is Turtle Beach. The headset is uh, a little, little rough on the ears. As you can see, the ear cups turn in. So when you're not playing or when you need to take a break, you can set them on your chest. So if you want any, uh, you have any questions or anything, you can just feel free to comment on this video. And uh, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible if you have any questions or anything. Just hit me up. Later.